Our job is to win football games and uh, develop a style of play. It is as well to influence people's life. I feel we have created something special. Growing up, you look for heroes in everything you see. They are back at the summit of English football again, and they are Arsenal. Being a child, you look for heroes as somebody to look up to, to aspire to be, somebody that you can take inspiration from. We look for these heroes everywhere, in cartoons, in books, in films. Some of us found our heroes in football. I remember being transfixed to the screen and watching Henri skip between three defenders with a singular focus running towards the goal. Absolutely brilliant for Henri! I remember being on the playground, running around, hitting a ratty piece of leather, screaming, Vieira! I hit the young coming ball, dreaming of hitting the sweetest volley, top bin, just to be talking the playground for 24 hours. My name is Scully, and I've been an Arsenal fan since 2002. You kind of flirt with football a bit as a kid. You like it, think it's fun, you're on the playground. You come home from school, you're chasing around that same ratty piece of leather. But I remember the point that I fell in love with football. I remember the day I became a Gooner. On September 28th, 2002, Arsenal made history for a very, very different reason. It was the season that we won the double in 2002 that I started to see something special in this team. When you're a kid, you see winning, you think, yeah, I want to follow that. But it was a seemingly random game following season at Ellen Road that made me a proper Gooner. I didn't notice when the team sheet was read out. I'm not sure I even noticed when the team walked onto the pitch. But when that first goal went in, it was glaringly obvious. For the first time in English Premier League history, nine of the 10 outfield players were black. The hot shot. The name is Arsenal. Of course, skin tone shouldn't matter. But in my life, it did. When that team broke up the field and moved up the pitch in seconds, devastating. These guys were just having fun together on the pitch and they made no apologies for that. That second goal. <laughs> it's led to two, two right. Omri's tossing for the ball. He takes a little bit of a slap to the face. It's nicked by Will Tord, who's running down the line. Takes it past someone, nice and deft, and it's like a pinpoint cross straight onto the header of Colo Torre. Mate, what a guy, what a player. Why was he always in the box? We'll never know. Didn't matter. Dancing, he's having fun, they're smiling. Everyone's happy. I'm sure I'm smiling. You're probably smiling. It's great times. I grew up reading comics, watching films, playing games. All of these mediums filled with the character hero. It was that day, on my screen, on that pitch, where I saw heroes that were tangible. Heroes who had the same kind of trim as my dad, with their ears pierced like my older cousin, who had the same skin colour as me. See, heroes are not just people who are written about from thousands of years ago, or some machinations of our imagination. Some heroes are in your postcodes, in your neighbourhood. Some of them even look like you, walk like you, talk like you, support the same team as you. Ultimately, it was just about a team demolishing another team on the road. But September 28th, 2002 will remain with me for the rest of my life, because that's the day I became a Gooner. It might seem strange now, with our mix of local lads, Brazilian gang, a Ukrainian, a Norwegian, Tommy from Japan, but to that young boy, it meant everything and I know I wasn't the only one. My club didn't wait for something to be acceptable. They went ahead and did it anyway.